Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL round of 32, group H. The opening match between Fisheye starting in the upper right hand corner as the brown Protoss. Upper left hand corner, we have Ranged starting as the midnight blue Protoss. So, Fisheye, a previous BSL Hustle League finalist, has a lot to prove this season, but Ranged, a pretty admirable opponent. One of a North, a North American Protoss player. He's done pretty well and has improved his game quite a bit. And it's, again, one of those guys where I look at him, and if he plays his absolute best, I could see him going all the way. And obviously, I feel that way about Fisheye, because Fisheye, honestly, a few things different. He probably would have taken the championship last year over Doodle, although Doodle has, I think, made it all the way to... He, he uh, If you look, I don't want to spoil... Uh, Gosu League right this second, but if you check out Go Gosu League, Doodle definitely performed very well. And I also want to note that maybe because of the advent of NAPL, maybe because of more corroboration between North American players, there's definitely been a rising tide of North Americans altogether. And at least I've seen that in both the appearances in Pro League, the, the depth that the NA NA players have gotten in Pro League this season, as well as all of the performances, and it's definitely evident in, uh, I would say, Pro and Gosu League. It seems like the tide is rising for North America across the board, although there still hasn't been a big threat of a North American to take the championship. That's my North American bias, of course. Sideline is still root for Poland, and still root for any Ukrainian player that I would see out there for obvious reasons. That's not to say I would root against any Russian for political reasons, but anyway. Ayaya out into chat land. In the meantime, it looks like we're seeing a gateway forge opener from both players but first scout from fisheye which is going to put him a little bit behind economically because that's going to be one less probe but at the same time this gives ranged a bit of information that he knows his opponent is at very likely one of the corners because it's very rare in on a four player map like this to go for just a straight cross map scout so he knows that his opponent's top right or bottom left when he does the follow-up scout and it looks like he wants to so doing a little bit of Fisheye doing a good job interrupting the probe on gas. Delaying that a little bit, you can see range still trying to get a shot or two. And this is mitigating early gas collection, which means potentially there are going to be fewer Dragoons to start. We are seeing a Zealot before a Pylon here on this side. So Fisheye ending up with small advantages here and there. Range still doing a pretty good job of staying on top of the macro. And I think, I, I'm not sure if the mineral versus gas exchange, what that ends up looking like overall, but that... Dragoon on the way. In the meantime, ranged on the 50-50 shot is going to end up with first scout, but their zealot is already blockading the ramp, so he's not going to have information on his opponent, which is absolutely critical. On top of that, Fisheye is going to be able to spot that range is in fact completing, and that was a probe kill. Who was the victor getting the... So that was a, a bit of a delay, I'm trying to figure out which probe managed to do the act, but it's hard to tell on this pile here. We'll, we'll just know that one of these probes was the hero was able to kill Fisheye's probe amongst the lines. Probe holding short. In the meantime, we have a Dragoon and a Zealot, which means Fisheye does have an army advantage. All, however, slight, moving down to the low ground. That might shift around good because, again, because of that first Zealot coming out earlier, that means there's going to be a faster second Dragoon from Fisheye, but there's still a distance to travel. None of this is game winning. And is range going to move against this? He has the probe alongside. It looks like he wants to try to maybe bully his way up the ramp to gain, guarantee information. But on top of that, what that's allowing him to do is get some... Free, oh, missed it there. Stutter shot, not able to happen. But he was able to get some bonus shield damage on one of the Dragoons in that walk forward. That was a very clever maneuver. Unfortunately, it didn't go into any base damage. But if ranged... Yeah, he's walking up, wanting to check whether there's a natural expansion. Seeing the lack of natural expansion... He has to believe that there's either a gateway flood behind this or a robotics facility follow-up. It looks like he's going to go to a robotics facility himself. Has a Dragoon blocking the ramp just in case something else was able to sneak on, going up to two gateway just to play it a little bit comfortably. Second gateway dropping for Fisheye with the two gateway robotics facility, particularly if he decides to open up. Uh, basically, there's ways, especially with the high ground, to mitigate three gate play things along those lines. And actually, no, he's going to go to three gate just to be absolutely sure. So ranged... Rather than going for two gate into tech, looks like he wants to go three gate obs to deal with this. Still not able to get scouting information and Fisheye diving forward and is going to get a Dragoon kill as a result. That Dragoon trying to make its way around and dive into the natural expansion to try to confirm something. But Fisheye denying all of the information. 
And now Fisheye dropping an observatory rather than robotics, which means... No, okay, now he's dropping the robotics right alongside. And so a bit of a flip scenario from what I was expecting here. I was expecting range to more go for the two gate observatory and then follow up with the robotics. And as a result, there's going to be a little bit less information on Fisheye's side, but Fisheye should be able to, if he can get that Reaver out and down the ramp, and particularly if he can get a shuttle in play, potentially can defend this as long as he doesn't flub the micro. And on top of that, potentially grab his expansion faster than ranged. Range starting to move out with four Dragoons. Right now, he does not have the troop advantage. Checking out the natural expansion, moving that observer forward to see if he can see the forward positioning of Fisheye. I think he also wants to get eyes on the exact composition of Fisheye's army. Both players very, very even on the worker count right this second. Neither player wanting to go for an overworker flood, it looks like, at the moment until a natural expansion is established. And range moving out on the map, being very careful, spots the observer to the north, but does not react. And Fisheye doing a nice job. Okay, they're reacted. Trying to hunt it down, recognizing he's not going to be able... So one clear thing, though, there is Fisheye did not see this army moving forward. He only saw the Observer. A defensive pylon being dropped regardless. Fisheye isn't going to have a moment to respond on the initial part of the engagement, but he still has even numbers. He's down a single Dragoon, but he is up a Zealot. But as soon as this Observer... Okay, the Observer's holding short, so it's seeing the Nexus, but isn't confirming that there's three gateways behind this. He'll still be okay, because the Reaver's coming down. So Fisheye, as long as he micros this well... We'll end up in a decent situation, although Fisheye delayed a little bit in that Nexus, which is going to give ranged a slight economic lead. Now that Observer starting to crawl forward and observe that there's, in fact, three gateways in the map. So ranged with a little bit of a positional advantage right this second, a slight economic lead if you can go ahead and get that Nexus up and running, but down in the overall tech lead in specifically in the form of that Reaver. It looks like additional Observers being constructed to try to deny information, range checking out that natural expansion confirming that there's a reaver there doesn't look like he wants to engage into this and in the meantime fish is gonna has that observer oh is it gonna get caught here yeah gonna turn around and gonna go ahead and evict that out this observer being chased down however it is going to stay present on the map in the meantime a probe moving up range dropping a defensive pylon for a second i thought with the minerals use floating he's gonna try to sneak a third so killed that observer right there on the low ground. Shuttle speed being upgraded in the meantime for Fisheye, and we have seen no movement towards robotics for ranged. Instead, it looks like he wants to go pure gateway man to deal with this, and if he... Kind of an interesting timing that's going to work out from this is where ranged honestly needs to drop a... maybe go up to six gateways here as far as a follow-up and produce Dragoons in a hurry, but the timing of that shuttle speed will be pretty rapid and that means there's going to be two reavers with a shuttle out in the map for fisheye although fisheye now that he's got that natural expansion up maybe wants to filter up to four gateways if he can go four gateways with the continued reaver production that shuttle speed he might be okay but against potentially five or six gateways if he that might just be an overwhelming amount of dragoons on his front door depending but i gotta say range both players have done a fantastic job of denying information right there range completely obliterating that observer which means Fisheye not going to be able to deny the information as it's walking in, so range going to be able to see, first of all, the Reavers, see the lack of gateways. That has to let him know that that tech went someplace, so he's got to assume shuttle speed as a result of this, particularly seeing the lack of Templar archives behind this, which lets him which lets him know that he maybe has an, a, an aggressive window where he can push into this. He's got that pile onto the south. Maybe if he leaves a handful, and especially actually having the five gateways behind, if he hits the macro cycle just right, against any sort of incoming reaver he'll be in a nice situation the two additional gateways just dropped for fisheye but he's been down two gateways production for quite a bit of time and you can see that supply differential between the two is significant although there is still that difference in the reavers and that shuttle so maybe a fisheye can micro this and get some miracle scarab shots might end up in a better scenario he does have that second gas coming down a little bit earlier but range has got a massive amount of information so that shuttle Scooping up a Reaver and a Dragoon, now making its way towards the north. Let's see if it's going to be able to skirt past this pylon's visual range. Do I have an arrange and range? We'll try to check it out as it's making its way this direction. So moving to the north. And that, let's see when range spots it and if, he re, and if he reacts. It's holding short. Wow, this is great play from Fisheye. So holding short. Observer moving forward. It's getting picked off. Does range see it? is the next question. So 
Dragoons are there. Three Dragoons now in position. Dropping. Shuttle very nearly taken out. It is taken out. Only a single Scarab shot gets a big hit. And that is going to level a good amount of probes. But I don't know if that was sufficient to lose the Reaver and the Shuttle. And also we've got three probes that are not mining at the Assimilator in the meantime. Range has a pretty solid contain of Dragoons out on the map. So positional advantage, able to deny some tech. He might even push into this now that he knows that shuttle's no longer in play. Interesting, actually, I just recognized that the with an empty scarab, it doesn't show a kill count, potentially. Fisheye, with the lack of observers moving a zealot forward. That's the other thing, going with all this reaver tech, that means there's been fewer observers on the map to scout for Fisheye overall. Shield battery there to provide some support. He does have some units scattered on the high ground but ranged moving in with nearly a 20 supply lead. And the initial volley is going to take out a Dragoon nearly for free, attacking up the high ground as well. The Reaver is trying to push in position. Ranged actually going to back out of this slightly. An Observer moving in just to check the 9 o'clock to make sure range didn't grab an additional base right there. The Reaver going to scoop back up with two Zealots this time, making the way back towards the north. Range still has some defensive Dragoons in position. He's been able to restabilize that probe count overall but range looks like he's backing off with a large grouping of these dragoons maybe to engage us he has plopped down he is staging that third nexus fisheye getting another drop the shot looks like it is going to be a dud this time second shot not a dud only able to get a single probe but a huge shot with the follow-up and the probes working against the Dragoons right that second. Another gigantic shot. So now that might trigger a counterattack. So Shuttle and Reaver down. Now this, this is an interesting situation for ranged overall where he's got three Nexus. He's got an army lead, although it doesn't look like it right this second just because of the differentiation in probes. But he's got three Nexuses, which means he can re reproduce probes pretty rapidly to maybe maintain this lead. Or he can feel that, okay, there's too much damage done and go for a quick attack. He does still have that large amount of Dragoons outside the natural expansion to potentially deny a third. In the meantime, Fisheye making his way towards Templar tech. Additional Templar archives, and he's got a sizable gateway flood behind this. In fact, did he outpace? So we got six gateways on this side. We've got seven gateways on Fisheye's side, which means he's got one more gateway. Plus he's got that Reaver in the shuttle. This might be too much for ranged to repel. After those last two attacks, a probe scouting out the three clock location, just trying to make sure that there's not an additional base somewhere out in the map. So I think range is thinking about just sticking to three bases, but Fisheye now making his way out, the shuttle taking some additional damage. A Dragoon is going to be able to remain relevant in this fight, but the Reaver is not part of this fight. Finally emptying towards the rear, range now moving the rest of that attack army forward. I don't think Fisheye, well, actually, never mind. Fisheye does have superior supply right now. And he's also got a slight high ground advantage if he just walks those Dragoons back, but it looks like... And he's also got a superior amount of Zealots on the low ground. So range having to retreat in the natural expansion with that attack. Fisheye taking the army lead. Some Dragoons cycling in from the rear. Range having to back up to a closer reinforcement point. He does have some Zealots to try to engage this. Unfortunately, he's getting piled in. And now that third base is exposed, which means there are potentially going to be some pros. But this is, could also be some misfire rate. From these Dragoons, Fisheye has some support zealots marching forward with that leg speed. And this might be the game-winning maneuver for Fisheye is that third under assault, which means range would not be able to catch up economically. And simultaneously, Fisheye, Fisheye able to repel the defense army from range from the high ground. So the probes emptied. This also opens up a third. You can check on the mini-map in the background for Fisheye, able to get that third base up and running. So Fisheye, with a nice strategic maneuver, with a superior zealot count, able to wipe out range's holding. And with that, I think he's going to pull the GG. So the Nexus down. Not a lot of troops left. And as these last few zealots are cleaned up, that is it. Solid PvP play in the opener here. This could be a tough bracket overall. Because honestly, tight. Could have gone either way. But Fisheye... Showing that he is still in some in finalist form, going to advance to the winners match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.